What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. This is a tutorial on how to add reshade to your 5M, making sure that you're installing it properly due to the, the newer versions. Uh, make sure you're fixing everything that needs to be fixed. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your browser and look up reshade. Once you look up reshade, it's going to be right here. And then once you get here, it's just going to say download. You don't have to do it for any specific version. Works for all games. Download. Uh, I'm just going to download it anyway, even though I already have it installed. Uh, once you get right here or it shows up in your files you can open it up run the exe file all right it's going to pop up this little window right here uh, you might not see stuff like this like the license generator that's just for me but what you're going to do is search up 5m over here where it pops up here you're going to right click it open that file location right click it again on the 5m right here open file location again and then you're just going to click on the blank spot you're going to make sure none of these are highlighted click on the blank spot and in the path where where it basically has the path of where you came in at you're going to click on it and then you're going to copy this path and once you copy that then you can exit out of that that's basically where your reshade is going to pop up at um, right here where it says browse on your exe file for reshade where you installed it you're going to hit browse Go right here where it says downloads or wherever you have it at, wherever it opened up at. And this path place, you're going to paste what we just copied. So it should show up just like that. You're going to hit enter on your keyboard. And then the 5M uh, application file right here, you're not going to double click into it. You're just going to hit open. Once you open that, it's going to see right here. You're going to hit next. You're going to hit direct X. We don't use direct X9 or anything like that. Direct X. 10 11 12 all right then after you do that you're going to arrive to this page this is the last page for installing reshade specifically what you're going to do is hit uncheck all and then check all this is making sure you have all these effects styles in so your game can be modified so your reshade can be modified and so that you can add different shaders to your game now uh, once you do that you want to hit next and then it's going to load everything up and then install everything for you and it's going to show you a green check mark once you finish and then you're going to be good to go the next thing you're going to do is go to 5m again uh go to open file location you're not going to go into the application you're going to go to open file location you're going to open that file location again with the exe application file right here once you're here you're going to select all these files so you're going to hit control on like the left control on your keyboard and then you're going to start clicking around to each of these files, all three reshades, the DXGI file, and then the reshade shaders. Everything you see I clicked on, you're going to hit cut. And then you're going to go up here to the 5M application data. And then you're going to go to the plugins folder. If you don't have a plugins folder, then create one easily. Create one, hit folder, and then rename it plugins. Make sure the P is lowercase. Once you're in the 5M plugins folder, as you can see, I already have a couple files and I already have all my reshade files in here. So I don't need to worry about any of that stuff. Um, basically paste everything, paste all these files that you see that you cut and you copied, paste that literally just right click and click paste. And it's going to put all those files up in there. So you want everything in your in your plugins folder because reshade is a plugin. And then once you are off that, you can exit out of that. Now, here's where people go wrong. They usually think that reshade is starting to work now. And they're like, OK, let me just go into 5M and hurry up and get off the video. Right. Yeah. No. So what you're going to do is join my discord server. Link is in the description. We're going to come down to the discord server. All right. Once you get here to my modern discord, you want to come down to the reshade fix section. Um, and this is the reshade tutorial. And it gives you the, the line right here. You want to copy this line. Uh, where it says add-ons reshade and all that stuff and it tells you you have a bug that will lead to crashes you want to basically this is your acknowledge message you want to cut and copy that you want to copy that by hitting control the left control c as you always do copy everything and then you want to go back into your 5m application data the same way we did before and then when you come down here to citizens fx you want to double click on that open that up all right once you open that up you might not it might not look the same but whatever's up here on the top section so whatever's up here where it says game and whatnot you want to basically create that space you want to hit return or enter um, create that space and then you're going to paste this basically everything that you copy from the discord you want to paste that right into there so evidently your citizens fx file should look just like this all right. Once you have that pasted in, do not close this stuff out. What you're going to do is open up 5M real quick. 
All right, so we're here in 5M. So if you hit F8 and you scroll all the way up and it's going to say uh, the same thing that you just saw, basically that. It's going to say that. Um, and I don't have that error anymore because I already fixed it. But basically your ID number is going to be pasted here and it's going to tell you basically to copy that. So you want to make sure you're copying that. It's going to be up here. It's not going to be down here. I just pasted that for, you know, just to show you what it looks like. It's going to be up here. You're going to copy that ID number. So when you copy that, you can leave 5M. And then you're going to paste. You're going to literally paste that same number in here. Right? So once you do that, you can hit file and then hit save. Um, and that's going to automatically save your citizens FX. Now that you have the reshade installed for 5M, you want to go to your desktop, create new, new folder. And you want to name that reshades. And I named mine reshades is right here. And once you do that, now, once you have your reshades in, I have a bunch of different reshades. Um, basically, you add your reshade to that folder. You drag it over. Come up here to this reshade folder and then copy the path. The same thing that you did earlier for the 5M. You're going to exit out of that reshades folder. Leave the reshades folder on your desktop. For the love of God, just leave it on the desktop. That's the path. Don't don't switch up the path because you switch up the path. It's going to mess everything up. Go to your 5M. Open that up. All right. Once you're in the all right, once you're in 5M, you're going to click home because that's the default reshade uh, keybind. And then um, I have this one on right now. But uh, basically what you want to do is come up here. It's going to be a bar right here. I don't know what it's going to say, um, but it's going to be right next to these arrows. Um, and then once you click that, it's going to have the path and that's where you find all your reshade presets. You're going to control V, um, and then it's going to basically do the same thing. Oh, see, I already have the same path. So, uh, that's where, that's where all my reshade presets are, you know? So boom, once you click select, just click select and you know, you have your reshade preset on. All right, so that's pretty much it for that. All right, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like. Uh, if you need any help, make sure you join the Discord. We do offer game support up in there. It is paid, so just to let you know. Uh, make sure you check out the Patreon. All the links are in the description. And make sure you uh, subscribe if you are new to the channel. Have a good one.